how's it going you guys? It's been a while since I made a DaVinci Resolve video and I think it's about time I show you guys the next thing I do. This is pretty important because I now I add it to all my videos. It's pretty cool when you add it and if you add it correctly in the right spot, it's even better. What I'm talking about is how to add text. I'm gonna show you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you how to change the size, move the location of it, change the font, add a drop shadow, add a strokes. It's gonna be a great day because Text is pretty awesome when it comes to a video. You can move it around anywhere you want. If you add in the sound effects with that text, bingo, perfect. Enough chit chat let's get started. Okay, you guys, we have this clip right here that you guys saw in the beginning, and I'm actually gonna use that to show you guys how I added the text for this clip. What we do here is I finish all the color grade. Everything is pretty much set. Every, you know, I edit it. This is the final clip. So usually before I add the text, I finish the work. And then the text is kind of like adding a layer on top of what you've already done to make it that little bit more spicy. <laughs> In here, I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add a little Andy on the bottom left of it. Because I kinda, I like, kinda like to add that to all my videos now. So over here, we're gonna go to effect library on top right here. Yours might be a little bit different than mine, but it should be up there on the left. And we're gonna go down to titles, okay? Once we go down to titles, I use this basic one. The, there's a lot of people who use all these other different ones, but for me, I just use this basic one because I'm used to it. You, you drag it down and you put it right on top of your main clip. Your main clip is right there in the bottom and then you just drop this right on top. Okay, we're not gonna worry about the title and anything yet. I wanna show you guys, if you guys like what we do though, make sure you hit the star button right here. You see it? The star button right here will make it to your favorite. So it'll be over here, so next time you don't have to go and find it. You just kinda just click that and drag it down. Makes things a lot easier that way. All right, so we want this to extend throughout my entire video. So I'm gonna hit this full extent zoom right here instead of just scrolling out, cause you can do that too. But sometimes, you know, let's say you're zoomed in here, all I have to do is click this full extent zoom right here, and boom, see how easy that is? It'll, it'll show basically the entire timeline. And I drag it all the way out, and it should lock in at the end. You sometimes wanna check though, cause let's say your timeline was really big, it might not, it might not grab it all the way to the end, and then it's gonna look very bad. So just drag it all the way to the end. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. You don't have to, but I'm gonna go back to the beginning. And right next to the full extent zoom, there's a button called detail zoom. My red line is right here. You see this red line? That's where it is. Once I hit it, it's gonna zoom into that red line area right here. See it? it makes things easier to work with because it zooms into that. Now, the title is gonna be Andy. So that's what I want it to have. You guys can name it anything you like, but that's how I like it to have. So, and then afterward, after I name it to Andy on the right side right here, right, I cap lock it, you can change the font there, right, the face of it, you can be bold, italic, bold, italic, you know, the size of it, here you can drag, put your mouse right next to the 128, you see it, and then drag it, hold on to it, and then drag it left and right, you see how it changes the size by dragging it, that's pretty cool when you do it like that, but I already know what size I want, and I always do it this size, so it's pretty much gonna be the same. For me, I put 30. For you, you can put this, okay? You can put that if you want. And then you can obviously change the color of it as well, but before you change the color, make sure you highlight the word because we already wrote the word out. So that means we gotta highlight what we want to color and then change the color of it, okay? If you didn't, then it's just gonna assume the next letter, the next word that you want, that's the new color that you want. We don't want that or at least I don't want that, you might. So here it is, red. I'm actually gonna go with white. <laughs> so white, Andy, okay. When I scroll down, tracking. Tracking is kind of like if you want all the letters to be closer together or farther. So right here, let's say you want it to look like that. That's kind of cool actually. Hmm. You kind of can't tell what it says, but you kind of know what it says. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can squeeze it in more. Negative 100 is kind of max because after that, the letter is just going inter to intersect and it's not going to look that great. So let, you can even expand it, right? If that's what you're into. 
for me I think I'm liking the rig the regular way so to go back just hit this wheel right here or like this arrow that goes around in a circle you hit that and it goes back to everything normal completely a little tip you guys if you did let's say tracking all the way here and instead of hitting that arrow you can also double click on the word tracking that will also bring you back to normal so that actually works with all the settings any of them you hit the word or the arrow you bring it back to normal or control z whatever it is anyways line spacing is just you know wherever you want to place it i kind of i don't know i don't mess around with that i just leave that to zero and of course all the font style um font mid all these stuff you know you can make it all caps small caps big caps just any of those things i usually don't mess around with those things because then it gets too complex for me the only thing i mess around with would be the drop set shadow scroll down there and then sometimes i add a drop shadow just because like if you look at it right now the word kind of just it's kind of flat to make it pop out a little bit all you have to do is offset you see this word offset right here with an x drag hold click the number 0, 0.000 click that number and hold on to it don't let go drag it to the right and look what happened see that okay you drag it to the left and it's on the left so kind of if you kind of think if you think about it just picture where the light is going to be or was you can drag the shadow the other way so it looks like the light's actually shining on the word and it's creating a shadow the other way and then the y-axis is just to up and down so about right there right you can do that that's pretty cool right there i actually like that and of course you can change the blur you want it super sharp just like this is like super sharp shadow it doesn't even look like a shadow anymore it just looks like an extra calligraphy thing but if you move it all the way to the right now now it has that blur the shadow effect and then opacity you know uh you want it's kind of a light shadow if you want it a really dark shadow it's pretty self-explanatory there but if you guys didn't know that that's a pretty cool feature right there and stroke sometimes we're adding shadows and it still doesn't look good the stroke is basically check it out see that 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 is really ugly right there <laughs> so don't drag it all the way up i want to say one or two and it's good enough already you don't want to drag it all the way over here and then i don't know it's just kind of kind of whack kind of ugly you know so for me I'm gonna leave it like that and then if you did have a background color you can change all that but let's just if you guys like it where it is right there you can keep it I'm gonna actually go bring this back to normal because for this purpose I don't use the drop shadow and I don't use stroke kind of just plain like that what I'm gonna do is actually like I said change the size to 30 look how small it is but I might actually do 40. I don't know. Anyways, to move this, instead of going here where position is, where you can just move the position all the way to the left, you can actually click on the word and drag it down. You see how it has an arrow? So it kind of shows you, okay, this is the middle. If you want to be in the middle, it helps you put it wherever you, know, you need to put it. Okay, I want a bottom left. And then not just that, I'm actually gonna now, because it won't let me go even further than that, it will be outside of the word see how it won't let me now I play around the position bring the position over and then bring the word down just like that 30 is kind of small I'm actually gonna go this to 40 40 looks a lot better there it is so I do that to all my videos I put my name down there if you guys haven't noticed yeah well actually I kind of just started doing that <laughs> anyways you guys um, to move on let's say that's the basic of it okay we're gonna continue watching this video real quick how's it going you guys it's been a while since i've dropped shadow and i'm gonna show you how to add the text okay so right here if you guys are listening I'm gonna show you how to add the text okay right there i say text and i'm thinking about it i can just sit here and listen to myself talk the whole time or you guys can just listen to this but what happened if i drop the word text right here how to add text okay and what if I dropped it right when I said how to add text or the word text, you know? And I make it bigger. Boom, right there. Okay, but now you see how it kind of blends into my shirt? That's where the drop shadow comes in. Just like that. And if you don't like white, 
change it, change the color. But let me see how this looks like. It's a quick test. I'm gonna show you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you. Or I can do this. I'm gonna show you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you how. Okay, and then right when I said text, that's it. This part's done. I'm gonna show done. you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you how to change the size. Size, okay. And then this is where I'm going to hold out, move this over, and then it creates a copy. Right? I'm gonna show you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you. And then this copy right here is gonna be size. Um, what should I call it? You know, now that now that I'm doing this though, I think I'm gonna delete this and just say text. And then make it even bigger. Just like boom. <laughs> just really quick. And uh, here the size, and I'm just in the word is bigger. I'm gonna make the drop shadow a little bit more. There you go. That looks good. That looks good. But I'm gonna cut this, and I'm gonna get rid of it. So when I cut it, I'm gonna get rid of it, and now it's just I'm a quick. Show you how to add the text. I'm just like that. Okay. Let's watch it again. I'm gonna show you how to add the text. I'm I want it even shorter. Show you how to add the text. I just want it to be where I said text, so it just does a quick I'm pop. Show you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you text how like that. How to add the text? I'm gonna show you. How. Okay, and then when I say size, this is the next one. I'm gonna expand it big again. I'm gonna make the drop shadow big again. And then this time, I don't want to just have it sitting there in the middle like text. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. So here's the rotating angle, right in the first spot. Rotating angle. I'm gonna hold it where 0, 0.000 is, and I'm just gonna move it right there. Okay. After I rotated it, I realized I want it a little bit bigger. There, <laughs> kind of big. Change the size. Looks kind of cool. Kind of get your attention instead of just a plain over headshot talking. I'm gonna show you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you how to change the size, move the location of it. Location, okay. So when I say move location, we're gonna do this. We're gonna say location, okay. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, with the size, we can just change the size of it and then just kind of like that. So the first word is Text. boom. I'm show you how to change the size. Okay, and then the size is because it's smaller. It changes the size to smaller. That's pretty cool. Same thing, just smaller. Location of it. Location. Um, what I'm going to do with location is I'm actually going to use the small size of the last one. And then I'm going to drag this and I'm just going to put it somewhere else like right here. So now when I say the word location, it's at another location. And when I say the word size, it's shrunk. And then when I say the word text, it pops up big. So kind of like you play around with it, just these normal settings. I'm gonna show you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you how to change the size, move the location of it. it lags a little bit, you see it? I say location already and then the text popped up. Location of, move the location. Move the lo location of, move the location. Okay. Move the Okay, so location is somewhere around here. Use the back arrow, just the arrow key, and then you'll move a couple frames back until you hear the L come out. There it is. That's where it actually should be. Now play it again. Move the location of it, guys. Move the location there of it. There it is. Change the font. Sounds a lot better. The location of it, change the font. Okay, so font is another one. So we're gonna copy that, move it over. We'll change this word to font. And then I'm actually gonna, gonna move this back to the center, which is here. And then position, reset, reset, I reset everything. So it goes back right into the center. The size, again, I'm gonna move it up. Okay, big. Drop shadow needs to be more just because we made the font bigger and it'll look better if it's a bigger drop shadow. And this time I'm gonna change the font. Remember to highlight the, that word. Go to Time New Roman and just change it to anything. For me, right now, just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna change it to that. No, that's kinda weird. Okay, even for the sake of the video, I'm gonna change it to this. Cool. Can you tell the difference? It's kind of a... No, I want something that is completely different. There, okay, so this is completely different than what I had, just so now you can see that when I change the said font, it changed. You know, it changed the font, add a drop shadow, there it is. 
um, drop shadow. Now I can go back to regular, move the shadow down or move the size down just because the word is a lot bigger. Put this back in the middle. Now I'm gonna do a drop shadow a uh, different direction. There it is, like that. <laughs> Make it drop down, you know? Perfect. Just to get people kind of like, whoa, what is that? Got it. Add a drop shadow, add a stroke. And then the last thing we got is the strokes. So I'm gonna reset this drop shadow. I'm gonna call it stroke. And I'm gonna increase the size first, big. And then I'm going to add the stroke. Maybe one or two. Actually, let's do five. Five looks good. Now, let's watch the whole thing over. I'm gonna show you how to add the text. I'm gonna show you how to change the size, move the location of it, change the font, add the drop shadow, add the strokes. It's gonna be a great day because... Perfect, you guys. So that's a tutorial of how to add text and how to mess around with it. And that's just the basic of how to mess around with it. You can start combining transition into the text and that's just gonna change a lot. But I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long showing you guys all this stuff. So let's talk about transitioning in the next video and then I can show you guys how to transition with text, how to transition with clips. It's gonna be amazing. So if you guys did like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, Drop it in the comment below which video you guys want to see about this topic, Da Vinci Resolve. And then I'll make that video and we'll chit chat some more in the next one. I think the next video I'm going to make would be the transition video. But so any video you guys want to see after that, that's the video we can we can talk about.